Hello ladies and gentlemen, my viewers and subscribers all over the world. I welcome us all to this broadcast. Begeda happened for APCO. It happened uh, yesterday in Adamawa, where APC went to do campaign. Oh, Baba Boo Boo, don't tear the ground. <laughs> He don't socialize everybody. He don't socialize APC. Even uh, Turumbu, who is the presidential candidate of uh, APC, was socialized. He didn't expect that. I told some people some time ago that uh, these people are persuading uh, Baba Buhari to follow them to campaign. That what we will do on that campaign, we, we, it will shock everybody. They think that uh, I, I like to talk too much. Just like uh, what some people always tell me on my comment section. They say I talk too much. But not that I talk too much. I'm setting the fact and obvious. It happened in Adamawa. We have Baba pick up the microphone. Fine and good. He raised the hand of their presidential candidate, which is uh, Baba Abadu. Blue Blaba. You, you get it? <laughs> he raised his hand as a presidential candidate for APC. But here Baba speaking. Baba made it clear to the people who come there to support APC. He said, vote for people i mean vote for uh, responsible people does he mean that apc are not responsible no me talk about baba said this one yesterday at their, at their rally in uh, adamawa the state of uh, waziri abubaka he said do not vote for fraudulent people i beg who are the fraudulent people if there's anybody who have been attributed to fraud or anything that is not a clear in this uh, coming election you should you know it very well that is APC. Baba opened him and say, Don't vote for fraudulent people. He said, Go to your constituency and do what? And vote <laughs> and vote and vote responsible people. So who are the responsible? Use your tongue to count your teeth. I don't want to talk too much because when I talk too much now, APC is everywhere. They have an uh, agent. Even inside the YouTube, they have agent. I said one thing about APC the other day. They went and report my channel. <laughs> what did I say? I didn't say anything wrong. Setting the obvious. Or in my view, as we are practicing a democracy in Nigeria, now they can fight you when, when they go for interview. The likes of, uh, I mean, all of them, almost all of them. The one that called himself, San, that one is no-go area. He will come out on the media and begin to even uh, try to teach the media their job, living in his own work as a lawyer. And that is uh, why it is never go go on. I mean, it, it never go well with them and uh, and uh, uh, Rufai will send it of a rise even because Rufai will never allow you to intimidate him, whether you are a son or your senator or whatever you are. Once you get yourself in uh, a rise TV and Rufai happens to be the interviewer, my dear, forget it. If you think that he will say to your own where it is with you, one day you are making a very big mistake because Rufai can never make a statement that we rather there was one his interview the other day, and all that one can say is that uh, Rufai is campaigning for opposition. That is the main reason why they refuse to go for interview or I mean, uh, town hall meetings with the Arise News because when they go there, the people that are there are far, far, far more than the brown, brown envelope uh, media houses. Yes. No matter you can, uh, Rufai might not be that rich. Uh, he might not be that rich, but he surely get there one day, because he's doing a very good, great job for Nigerians. The only only presenter in all the media houses, him and Sheung. But sometimes Sheung says he own, but I don't understand. But as long as Rufai is concerned, any time, any day, I listen to that young man. I just I trip for him. I come out for him. They busy refuse to go there because when you go there. Only one, only one question that the Rufai will ask their presidential candidate, eh? he will peep you on, 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 on his pampas. I'll be on his pants. Maybe they don't talk, say I talk. Oh. I call Baba, oh, if you put in Gidana, you sabi. Because the other day, uh, for a do, I'll be where they go that rally. I'll be now, or yeah, i be on do. They are showing people. Come, take off your camera, take off your camera. A presidential candidate that come to rally. You are you are forcing people to take out their camera because they want to do something behind it. I don't know what happened to his uh, brokers. <laughs> ABC. Yeah? Bugari have made it open. Because of you people, where they shout, uh, Jagabano, Jagabano, APCO, APCO, Baba Bugari, yeah? the only president that come out to campaign for his candidate, he didn't mention the name of the, uh, the, the party. He said, vote for 
Resp responsible people. If you go to vote, if you go, if you vote irresponsible, that one I use Abi. He said, vote for Guinea, don't vote for fraudulent people. You know, people who are attacked with fraud 30 years ago, $460,000 was forfeited. That, that money will be small money. Check out for Nigeria currency, you know, say one name. That money is enough to construct a, a at least one kilometer road. $460 million. $460,000, sorry. It's enough to construct a, a, a two, two kilometer road, tied road, with, uh, by beggar. That is what somebody forfeited. And they are bold enough to tell us that it was taxes. Taxes for somebody who don't run a company. Who is working barely on $2,400 a month salary. Can forfeit $460,000. You think that is a small amount of money? We are calling it by mouth. It seems like a small amount. Convert them to Naira with the current exchange. You will not say, man, ego, 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 ego. So, Papa, don't talk about If you are sitting there shouting, vote for ABC. That one, I use Abi. He don't use the man, talk him. He don't call Baba. If you put Ungida, that one, I use Abi. In conclusion, get your PVC. Go to your constituency or, or your pulling unit. Vote for responsible people. I speak again. He said, vote for responsible people and don't vote for fraudulent people. You get it? If you don't get it, forget it. In case you're wondering who's on the line, I see the man you're one and only, Okute Deli Talk, coming to you and a platter of gold this very morning. If I'm not going to subscribe to my channel, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that we'll be notified this time we'll go live or post something new on this channel or another channel related to Okute Deli Talk. I have a very great news and breaking news. Now, the, the, the atmosphere is shifting from north, way, north east, north west, north center. Their own is uh, non stop. That is what they are, they, that is what the, the insecurity is non stop. Now, they shifted to Imo State, Ebo State, Enugu State, Abia State, part of Anambra State. Now, they, don't, they, they, they make sure that this insecurity is ravaging almost all the whole states in Nigeria. Now, it's a those state town. It does say don't they collect water water since on Sunday. From from a train attack, they kidnap uh, um, um, one uh, former uh, minister or whatever they call him on his way to Abuja or wherever. They kidnap him. Now, government don't uh, kidnap another uh, uh, a state customary court president on the way to office. They don't carry him go to a known destination. Very soon now, you go here say now million, million they go to call. Now they don't make it comp composite. Their market now is lucky. It's, it's, it's a supermarket. Once they give you a price, no negotiation. A hundred million naira. Simple. To bear yourself. That is the current uh, uh, trading business in Nigeria now. Once you get one head now, you are sure of getting hundred million naira. Whether they have it or they don't have it, you, you don't care. So in those days now, they don't collect water water from uh, the government. Breaking government kidnap a do state customary court president on way to office. Does it mean that uh, no security uh, uh, operated around that area again? What our security operators doing? They are doing nothing. Government on Monday reportedly abducted Mrs. Precious Aibonga, the president of Igweben area customary court in Igunuki, on her way to court in Igweben local government area of Edo State. The same Igweben, the same Igweben. 32 people were kidnapped. I think they have freed about six or seven people uh, yesterday, as of the news of yesterday. So even before they, they freed those ones, they kidnapped this woman. I Bonoga's abduction was announced in a press statement by the Nigerian Bar Association, Publicity Secretary Festus Ushio Baifo. You get it? In the same local government, government suspected to be terrorists attacked and abducted some train passengers on Saturday evening. Usibaifo said the NBA was working closely with the Edo State Police Command to ensure Aibonogas regain her freedom from the kidnappers. The president of Igweben Area Community, uh, okay, customary court, Miss Precious Aibogan was kidnapped on her way to her office. She is, on the, she is the wife of our colleague, Mr. Afubu Aibonoga, the People's Democratic Party candidate, Isako West Constituency 1. The chairman of the Lion Bar, Chief Nosa Edo Osaji, is deeply saddened by this news and condemns in the strong times. The worrisome uh, insensitivity 
of these bandits in kidnapping Ms. Precious Ibonogas and easygoing, gentle and hardworking judicial officer. The executive of the NBA is in close touch with the Commissioner of Police, Mohammed Dankwara. By the grace of God Almighty, his honor shall be uh, rescued on heart, and the bandit brought to book. Amen. It's all right. It's our now turn to prayers. Let us keep his honor in our prayers. Please, the statement read. Prayers no go feel free how. If you like, make it pray from now till that kingdom come. Go and pay your ransom. Since you people refuse to better the security uh, 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 operatives, you people refuse to know any security gathering. Only when, only when something happens, you find out that uh, they begin to gather. How are we going to do to survive this situation? Why not gather before that incident happened? That is what we keep lamenting every day. Eh? Nigeria, what is happening? No, oh, Another one, another happy year. Uh, everybody, everybody with a shout. Give women a chance. Give women a chance. Women, uh, uh, they need to be in the government. They are no more corrupt than, uh, than the men. Who told you that? And who told you that? Look at how a businesswoman, Halema Atoji Osho, allegedly squandered 406 million naira in March for contract from Niger Delta Ministry on, on Range Rover and Luxury Watches. That is her own, that is her own problem. Range Rover and the Luxury Watches. On Arasiam, the system in Nigeria has been corrupted and the, 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 the more the men are corrupting, that is the, the same way the women are also corrupted. That a, a woman went to the to the office of any uh, or, or um, assume any office and did well some men also did well people did well in Anambra state so some governors also did well um uh, governor yes some weekend have been building a building two bridges within the space of four months so that does not mean that there's no any corrupt women out there can you imagine that the due to one her problem is is a uh, uh, um, range rover sport and luxury watches is she squandered 436 million naira. Tomorrow now you begin to call a devil. The Guadalajara Division uh, of the Federal Capital Territory High Court has ordered court uh, processes to be served on Olori Halimat Tojoso and her company, Halims Nigeria Limited, for allegedly defrauding her financier of 436 million 325,000 naira in March for the executive of a building contract awarded by the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs. People's Gazette reports. Upon securing a contract for the construction of 500 units of houses at Kashi Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, in May of 2021, Ms. Tojo Osho approached Emmanuel Suku to partner with her as a financial and ask him for an initial advance fee of 300 million uh, uh, naira and another 136 million. 325,000 paid in trenches in her personal and company accounts. According to Suku, he was entitled to 30% of the contract deal valued at 4.47 billion naira per the agreement of his partnership contained in a police investigation report. The financial suspected foul play when Mrs. Tojo Show began to avoid him, leading him to send his brothers to the construction site to check the project's process. He was uh, aghast when they eventually discovered the project had been at a standstill through a WhatsApp video call. He had with his brothers at the site. That no work has been done on the, pro on the project site since the groundbreaking ceremony, an uncompleted guest house structure and two uh, shipping containers were seen on the site. There were, however, no work, no workers, equipment, and building suppliers seen on the site. A police investigation report signed by the police commissioner, Mohamed Yakubu, said he later learned that the Niger Delta Affairs Ministry had withdrawn the project from Ms. Tojo Su and her company for breaching the terms of the contract. When confronted with the findings, Ms. Tojo Su could not give a satisfactory account on how she spent the money and began making moves to flee the country to avoid accountability to her financier. A further investigation into her financial account showed how the businesswoman had lavished the project fund on four exotic cars worth 150 million naira, luxury shoes and bags, 
designer watches a soundproof generator for her house and other electronic items worth millions purchased from the cash and carry store from the project funds Ms. Tojo also also doled out scholarship to 30 students attending SPAM Formation University in Kotonou, by the Republic, where she serves as a counselor. Her statement of account also showed that she wired several millions of naira to one informer, Vivienne Ubilo, an interior decor to pimp her residence in Peace Garden Estate, San, uh, Sango Tedo, Lagos, with a tasteful furniture what a fortune a chunk of uh, miss uh, Tojo so financial fund was traced to one royal apprentice said to be her staff with heritage bank account number something something which had received over 200 million naira in trenches the police commissioner recommended miss Tojo so's prosecution after establishing a case of advanced fee fraud criminal diversion of funds criminal breach of trust and cheating against her the matter with suit number FCT slash HC slash CV slash 589 slash 2022 has been adjourned to January 25 of 2023 for further hearing. All right, see him. All right, see him. It's quite 460 million naira public funds. Not even public funds, 12. Go and control. The financier is not yet even collect the money from, uh, from so called NDDC uh, something something. I beg you make on a ship to do job. Southeast was hit in 2022 as Nigerian Army police killed over 700 civilians, arrested 1,000 suspects, burned down over 600 private residents in the society. That is inhuman treatment and genocide they are perpetrating on our land of Biafra. God Almighty and the Chukokia Biama, and all the gods of our land, both Amadeo and the rest of them. We surely fight this battle for us. The International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law and Society has said the, the militarization and the clampdown on the southeast region between January and December of 2022 led to the killings of 700 Biafrans and the arrest of over 1,000 IPOP members uh, they call suspects. The group disclosed this in a statement signed by the Emeka Uma Balasi, board chairman, O Obianu Jujoy, Ibuele Esquire, head, civil liba, uh, liberties and rule of law, and Chedema Uduebunam, and head, campaign and publicity department. According to them, out of about 1,100, 1, okay, out of, the, out of 1,100 civilians arrested, not less than 220 persons were were abducted and disappeared without traces and all these people happens to be ipop members and beer friends by soldiers and policing crack squads the statement read the deployed military and police in the east southeast biafra land had between january and december of 2022 crudely barbarously and atrociously killed 700 Biafrans and arrested over 1,100 IPOPs. Out of the 1,100 civilians and Biafrans arrested, not less than 220 or 20% were abducted and disappeared without trace by soldiers and policing craft squads. The named security agencies perpetrated the above outside the law and modern uh, operational ethics and codes. Those arrested by soldiers were also found to have run the high risk of never coming back alive for, for eternity. Among the 220 victims of disappearance, between 50 and 60 are likely to have been killed in military and political cap ca captivity. Have you seen it? Child, I weep for the poor. From various accounts recorded by the Inter Society, including the Obi Igbo Army War Great Attack of October to November of 2020 in River State, out of every five unarmed civilians arrested by soldiers, four run the high risk of never returning to their families alive. Soldiers of the Nigerian military had also 
in 12 months of 2022 burned down or destroyed no fewer than 600 defenseless civilian homes worth billions of naira and sacked over 18,000 from their ancestral homes all in the southeast region of the country that is Biafra land in 20 months of october okay in 20 months of october yeah 2020 and june 2020, 2022 over 1400 houses were burned down or destroyed by the military and 51000 civilians rendered homeless all in biafra land all these things just to make sure that they degrade and they finish or pursue Biafrans out of their own ancestral lands the nigerian military particularly the army had never arrested or shot and killed any single jihadist Fulani Hesman in the region in 2022, if not since 2016. Sahara reporters have recently reported invasion of communities in the southeast part of the country, leading to killing of residents and burning houses. Their offense is because they are Biafrans and they are Igbos. That is the only crime they committed. On December 29 of 2022, troops of the Nigerian army invaded Okiwe in Imo State, sacking residents of the community and looting properties and small businesses. What is their offense or their crime? Simply because they are Biafrans and they are Igbos. Okute, Okute Daily Talk, in collaboration with Sahara reporters, gathered that many residents who were scampering for safety sustained various degrees of injuries, while many were feared dead. In their own ancestral land, their crime is that they are Biafrans and they are Igbos. The operation was over the abduction of female lieutenant P.P. Johnson by an unknown gunman. A trending video has showed the female officer being tortured by the gunman after she was abducted in the community. She was said to have traveled to Aku Okiwe to see her grand, uh, grandmother for the year to do season. A video of the invasion which trend, trended on social media showed cops littering the streets as well as residents being tortured by military personnel. Also in December of 2020, uh, 2022, residents of Nkalaha okay, community in Ishelu local government area of Ebony State fled from the community after an invasion by troops of Nigerian army. What is their crime? Simply because they are Igbos and they are from the southeast. Nkalaha is a neighboring community to the Walton uh, Ebo, Umujovu, and the Mbuji communities in Eha Amufu, issues of local government area of Enugu State. So they can invite a community like this and sack people. But but uh, uh, men from uh, in collaboration with the people of uh, Belue State have been inviting Eha Amufu for over two years now, killing people and sacking people. And sending them out from their own ancestral lands. Yet, the Nigerian military and the government have not done anything. Some of the residents of her Amufu communities, over the vicious killings and destruction of their communities by armed herdsmen, had gone to Nkalaha. But the military invasion of Nkalaha community forced residents of the community and her Amufu entirely displaced persons to flee from the soldiers and the herdsmen to Enugu town and Abakliki, the Boy State Capital. On Monday, 12, December 12 of 2022, Sahara reporters reported how hundreds of troops of Nigerian Army invaded the Ubiago community in a same Ishe, uh, Ishe local government area of Ebony State. And Devo Mahi was there doing nothing, because that is their plans. They have equally arrested and gone away with 10 residents of the community who were merely motorcycle riders and youths trained to defend the community after armed herdsmen invasion of the community in March 29 of 2021 and October 13 of 2022 that claimed 22 lives including children and women. Meanwhile, neither the military nor the police or any other security agencies intervened while the over nine hours attack lasted. Have you seen it? Governor Dave Omai of Ebony State was forced to visit one of the Gori sites 24 hours after the attacks. Dave Omai. Dave Omai. It's all right. You will see. You get it? You will see. Another news on our hand here. 
our own talkative who has sworn that he will never rest until he open all the nyash. I mean, big blow, big breeze don't blow, and the power nyash don't open. We can don't come out again, or we don't make shocking revelations. Our politicians are pushing for the passage of NDDC budget uh, 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 of uh, 2023 so that they can share it for elections. All these people, uh, uh, if you hear the rich also cries, forget about all the people that are in government, in government houses. Most of them don't even have a decision. Because they get money, it's TV, TV money now. Have you seen any amber uh, before make something meaningful? They can never make anything meaningful. They get it and they, they squander the money on frivolities. Expensive travels, uh, hiring of private jets, going to expensive hotels and drinking expensive wines and champagnes. Tomorrow you will find them hungry on the street again. That is why you see most of them, they can never retire from government because they are always hungry. Jumping from governor to house of rep to senator to, uh, to house of assembly, sometimes uh, they will even uh, descend solo to be a local government chairman so that they will continue the looting from where they start. Look at it now. We can have opened their niche again. Does it mean that they don't have money to sponsor their election? The answer is yes, they don't have. They have squandered all the whole money there. The, the more they loot, if you get these people, you're expecting to get cash. That is why most of the times you see that uh, they will tell you that the government produced this person and they confiscated their properties. They don't keep cash. They will buy property, the one that remains, they will use it for for uh, doing of parties of here and there and doing other manner of things. And tomorrow you see their eye open. That is why they keep on looting uh, public funds. Because when they spend the one that remains in their hand, and uh, there's one thing about getting money. Once uh, your man don't start to eat, to stop that eating, uh, man, one day, uh, that person can go extra mile to commit anything, to make sure that that man continue eating. Nibo na say, oh no, not really, 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 and uh, they can't use this uh, nonsense people added that uh, come on the day you can already be uh now. That is nonsense and nonsensical uh, adage. So now we can have come out now to open their bomb bomb. The river state governor, yes, some wiki has come out to make some shocking revelations about the proposed budget of the Niger Data Development Commission before the National Assembly. Okute News in collaboration with Niger News learned that the governor has alleged alleged that some politicians are pushing and putting pressure on the National Assembly for the 500 billion Naira NDDC proposed budget to be passed so that they can share and use it to run elections. <laughs> this platform understands that the government, governor made a revelation on Monday when he received a delegation of the leadership and the Sun newspapers who visited him at the government house in Port Harcourt to present him letters for 2022 Excellence Award organized by these platforms. Wike, in a statement signed by his media head, Kevin Ebiri, faulted the NDDC appropriation on the proposed budget while arguing the agency would a mark, a mark 600 billion naira to support security agencies. Ebiri, in the statement, pointed out that the governor Wike revealed that within, within the, the total uh, NDDC estimates of 500 billion naira, 70 billion is expected from the Nigerian liquefied natural gas 4 billion a mark for distilling of public drains and 60 billion a mark as support to security agencies we can said it is laughable to see a development agency like NDC a marking 4 billion to killing public drains when it is supposed to be uh, to be to attend to strategic development issues in the region he queried why NDDC will a mark 60 billion naira to security agency and not devote it to enduring project and see the desirable impact. Governor Wike claimed politicians are already mounting pressure on the National Assembly members to speedily pass the NDDC budget so that it can be shared in lieu of the 2020 general elections that is approaching. We can observe that the major problem in Nigeria is not the availability of money, but the leadership that can stand on truth to promote it and be empathetic towards uh, empowering a various society that offer good life to the citizenry. While speaking uh, about this, uh, the, about his take on the lingering crisis in the PDP, the governor alleged that they, they, they now, okay, they have now hired the commission 
they commissioned boys to attack him and label him as a destroyer of the party because he is speaking up for fairness, justice, and equity. We can retreat that he remains unwavering in the demand for equity, fairness, and justice, particularly at the national chairmanship of PDP goes to the south, challenging anybody to mention any benefit in terms of projects River State has gained for its support to the PDP since 1999. You get it? If you don't get it, you better forget it. The last but not the least. February of 25, Tukwe Meke Zife have disclosed what could make Peter be to lose in his presidential election. Let us see. Former civilian governor of Anambra State, Dr. Tukwe Meke Zife, has uh, predicted a landslide victory for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. It will be ahead of the February 25 presidential elections. As if a while speaking to newsmen in his hometown, Ibuku, in Aguata local government area of the state, yesterday insisted that the Labour Party flag bearer is the only candidate capable of handling Nigerian problems. He argued that the former Anambra state governor successfully surveyed the countries despite his uh, despicable condition. As if he expressed his firm belief that the electorates know that Ubi is the best among all the candidates. He noted that the, the day Ubi is sworn into power will mark a change in the country's fortune. He said, I am earnestly looking forward for the day Ubi will be sworn in. That day will mark the beginning of Nigeria's return to the path of glory. He, however, expressed fear that it is only Reagan that can stop Ubi from winning the election. Adding, adding that apart from Reagan, I will say that nobody else is contesting this election with Ubi, in as much as I know that some other candidates have so much money at their disposals. All powers belong to God, and our God can stop every Reagan, and I see the hands of God in the obedient movement, and I thank all Nigerians for thinking a right this time around, and I must say that all glories be to our God. By God, there will be election in, 20, in February 2023. There will be no interim government, and the result of the election is predictable. In fact, I can't wait for that day, May 29, this year, when Obi will be sworn in. But if I had my way, why not bring the swearing in to death? down to march or april instead of waiting till may which is three months far away from the february elections when i get it look at it now and i don't hear them uh some uh, at easy and uh saludo so when i don't hear them abi enemies of progress household enemy is the worst enemy you can fight on this war in this earth uh, this uh, planet earth may god almighty and to go carry him on your premier and the gods of our land be with will be guide him protect him and make sure that, that this election come to his favor because obedient movement worldwide can never be disappointed that is the 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 the, the, the gospel truth we must make sure that this election come to the favor of will be not for not because of the interest of the southeast but for the fact that uh, we need a change not that kind of change we desire in 2015. Oh, this one is we need real change. People who are capable to take up the mantle of leadership of this country and do it well. That is Peter Obi and uh, uh, Dati Ahmed. Until I come your way again, I see the men who quit the daily talk. Subscribe, share, like, and also comment uh, on any of my content. Have a nice day. Bye for now.